Gamers, welcome back to the Minecraft Guide, episode hey, 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 slow down, slow down. Infinite Survival, welcome back, how you doing? Bad news today, but good news at the same time. It's good news first, good news first. Today is an episode all about dimension hopping. We're gonna go from dimension to dimension, new dimensions though this time, of course, and it's gonna be awesome. Today, the goal, netherite beacon, full netherite beacon, that's right. Now, bad news, uh, the world is something weird happened in between episodes, so take a look at Pam, take a look at Red. Um, you notice anything different? Yeah, they, they look the same, but there's no name tag. So, I think the world got corrupted in between episodes. I have no clue. I was able to actually uh, load the world from a backup, though. So, thankfully, the series continues, but we lost some progress from last episode. I didn't have the name tags. I went back and found red and yellow. Yellow's right outside. You're gonna stay there for now, yellow. Yep. Mm hmm With the sheep, and then Pam and red, they're inside of here. So, I caught us up, got everything done that we did last episode, but I, I just need to get name tags. We need to go back into the pink mineshaft dimension at some point and get name tags from there or just do something different not that big of a deal though we know who pam is we know who red is pretty easy to remember definitely something you should know so dimension hopping dimension traveling i've missed it so much it's like my favorite thing to do if you like these dimension episodes too let me know drop a like and i'll make more first things first the books so book and quilt there we go we're good to go before the episode i visited mother chicken it was very generous of mother chicken to tribute some of her children to us hey if she didn't uh, we wouldn't even have an episode today but while I was over there, things kind of just seemed to hit a little bit different. I don't think Mother Chicken is entirely pleased with their surroundings, so maybe we gotta make some upgrades to that area soon. Maybe, I'm not too sure. The chickens inside of the thing, they're working really well, though. They have many, many eggs, but uh, not as many eggs as I would have actually thought, so I don't know. I actually did some other things in between episodes as well. I went down to the mines and got a little bit more obsidian, and, and you know how we were hearing hostile mobs in our storage room? Well, I think I solved the problem. I found the cave lit it up hopefully it's gonna be good hopefully maybe but i i guess we'll have to see i mean i haven't heard any more skeletons so it sounds good <laughs> hopefully it's good i i don't know for sure though oh no the hall of portals it, it is surfaced again oh no that's really bad that's actually terrible oh boy and it's nighttime too okay 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 um hmm <laughs> didn't think about that i thought we were really far into the ground okay well uh-huh that's a problem but at the same time that's a problem for a different day not today we're not worried about it dimension number one the first dimension is from mew uh so i i'm not gonna lie i don't know why i chose this dimension i just kind of felt good about it the energy it felt right it, it kind of intrigued me not 100 percent into pokemon but at the same time it's cool it's fun i definitely have played like a lot of the game so we'll check it out we'll see what happens the book is going to be named shaman and inside of the book of course mew with an exclamation mark the portal is green. You know what that means. It means money. We're gonna get rich here. I can feel it. Okay. Um, elites, uh, something's happening. Something's bad is happening. Nether sprouts are everywhere and they're breaking. Uh, but there's, uh, ooh. Okay. Okay, Mew. Mew. Oh, Hoglands too. No way. Okay, we can experience, oh, dragon head. This is endgame. All right, so the Hoglands are in here. Where? F okay, okay, okay. The Hoglands, they don't like me. And I don't have a bow still, but I can. Oh, oi. Hey, 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 hey. You go away. 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 No, no. You go away. Two hearts. No, no, no. We're out. We're out. We're out. We're out. We're just going to make a. We're just walking. Okay, Hoglands. So slow down. Slow down. Slow down. I'm slow. It feels really weird. There's no, like, noise in this dimension at all. Like, it's just completely silent. And. And this is showing me exactly why we kind of need a bow. Not gonna lie, I probably should have one already. That would be really nice. Uh, what's the next move, though? I think what we're gonna want to do is be really careful, of course. We could fall very far, but I think we want to go back over to that ship over there and loot it and get the stuff. Now, of course, we still need to... Hey, Minecraft... Oh, that's bad. That's bad. That's really bad. Okay, we gotta pause the game. It's lagging way too bad. Now we run. We move quick. We move quick. Hoglands, you're too slow. We're gonna go... Oh, we have an end city there, too. I didn't even notice that. That's awesome. But this is the boat that I want. We want to check this one out. We're gonna climb up here and just wait for a second. I can't believe how many end ships are in this dimension. I did something huge. I did something really big. I fixed the sounds. We can actually hear things now, which makes things so much more normal. Listen close. You hear this sound? 
That's a beautiful sound. One of my favorite sounds in the world. There's a sound of a hoglin getting hit. That's right. I fixed the sounds, Elite, so I just had to reload everything. I don't know what it was about this dimension, but the sounds just don't work when you enter it. So be careful. But these hoglins, they gotta go away. They're kind of a problem. And then uh, we need to come back here with a bow and explore. I really need a bow. Hold on. They can't even get up here. Hoglins, you're not that smart. Hey, 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 hey. Calm down. Calm down. Yeah, wow. Hoglins... I mean, I already knew they were strong, but yeah, they're dealing like a lot of damage, and we're in full netherite, we have enchantments on this stuff too, they're strong, but they're gone, they're not strong enough, so, dragon head, of course, we need a dragon head, we don't have any of these yet, this is gonna be big, that's gonna be nice to have, thank you, and then elytra, okay, there's another hoglin, alright, alright, well, slow down just a minute, no, okay, you can get up here, okay, 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 hey, slow down, slow down, slow down, not so fast, Hoglin. It's It's been knocked off of the boat. It's good. If we build up over here, we should be safe. Maybe. Let's go ahead and check the inside. So, we have the potions in here. Lots of lag. Instant health, though. That's going to be really good in case. Hoglin, I see you out there. And then over here, what is this? This is sand, right? I probably shouldn't stand on sand and dig it, right? Like, let's do this, just in case. Our, oh, it's clay. Okay, never mind. We're just mining. Of course, we found some emeralds. This is all legit. This is all normal. This is what survival Minecraft is like. This is great. This is going to be a lot of emeralds, too. Maybe we cancel that netherite beacon. We just do the, the, the emerald beacon. Is that a bigger flex or... Yeah, no, netherite is definitely a bigger flex. Elytra, though. Where's the elytra? I think it would be up here. Okay, we got the chest. Uh, but the emeralds might have ruined the whole elytra concept. Because this should be in a frame, like right over here. Uh, yeah, maybe no elytra. We have loot. Orders. We have orders. Okay, um, orders again. That reminds me about the orders. I should probably check that out sometime. Okay, dimension successful. Let's get out of here. We've been here long enough. We need to climb this ladder and then make the jump over to the portal. Should be pretty easy, I think. Ah, uh, yeah, easy, easy. Let's get out of here. This dimension is sweet, though. We definitely need to come back to this one. Next dimension. We need a beacon. It's honestly, at this point, eh, kind of embarrassing that I still don't have one. You guys, thankfully, hopefully, maybe came to the rescue. This next dimension should help us solve that problem. So, of course, we're gonna do this all legit in survival. How do we get a beacon? Well, you know, we find wither skulls and we take the wither out. You know, that's, yeah, that's how you get a beacon. That's the only way, legitimately in survival. And of course, you know me, I'm gonna do it legit and in survival. We're not gonna use a dimension to get a beacon. I would never do that, never. That, that would be crazy, wouldn't be fair. Kinda don't know what to expect in this one. I think uh, this should be, what is this? Is this, I don't know if this is right based off of the description. Ah, uh, hold on, I think I messed up. I think I messed up. We, we see a hoglin over there, we're gonna leave. We're gonna leave, we'll come back. I went back and checked the comment and I think it needs to be all in lowercase, like inside of the book. Last time I put a capital letter, so let's try this again. There we go, lowercase the portal, I think it changed. Let's go ahead and check this out. We're looking for like a skyblock island type dimension. Yeah, 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 yeah. This, this is more like it. This is what I'm talking about. So. I think what we need to do is take some blocks, and I think we need to just start building. Take a look at that. Skyblock Island out there. This is perfect. Exactly what we're looking for. Honestly, 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 this just might be the series that you guys have been asking me for, for like months. Maybe here it is. The Infinite Survival, it's over. Welcome to Skyblock, Episode 1. Bet you didn't see that coming. Mm-hmm. Yep, that's right. So that spot over there, I think, is the target. I mean, it's the only thing in this void. So let's go ahead and, I think, just keep building over to it. I think it's far. It's obviously far, but I feel like it's maybe closer than it looks. Hopefully? <laughs> I'm not too sure. I think what I'm going to try and do is get even with the island and then shoot straight over to it. If we have to go back over to the other dimension, the normal world, that's fine. Not a problem. I have lots of blocks. Just hopefully things don't spawn on this. I don't know if it's going to become nighttime or not. Seems to be going pretty quick, though. Uh, yeah, I, I should probably focus and keep going. I, I think the day is going, like, really quick. Three, two, one... Uh, are we out? No, we have more. Okay, cool, cool. I guess I brought a lot of blocks to this dimension. This is good. I feel like I've been going forever, though. 
Uh, oh, no way. We're almost there. We're almost there. This is big. And hey, would you take a look at that, actually? We're level 30. That's big news. We're going to make a bow today, too. We're just doing everything. I really, really need a bow because I think I'd like to actually fight the dragon soon. I, I feel like I'm almost geared up enough, you know, like with the armor. We're like almost there for the dragon. I, I don't know. Maybe it, it might be a little early along. Maybe I should get some more gear for us. Better gear. And so, we have arrived. We are very close. So close. So, so close. So close, I can almost taste it. I think we need to move over this way a little bit more, though. Here we go. Perfect. New home. What do we have? Oh, this is big news. This is big news. This was set up here perfectly for me. This is amazing. A beacon. A lava bucket. A bucket of puffer fish. A pumpkin. A sugar cane. A melon slice. And, of course... A box of infinite books, which is going to be really, really interesting. I actually haven't messed with this thing since the snapshot actually came out way back on April Fool's. So we're going to place that out and see what that does. But all of this stuff, it's mine too. We're taking all of this. We're keeping it. Is that really the first bucket of lava that I've gotten in this world? It's a lie. It's a lie. That's embarrassing. I, I promise I've gotten lava buckets before, of course. Uh, how could I get a full set of netherite armor before lava bucket? Mm-hmm. Yep. Okay. Uh, and we're gonna leave. I know this is gonna make a lot of you sad. I'm really sorry to say this, but the Skyblock series that just began, it was fun. It was a good series. It had a good run, but it's over. We've successfully beaten Skyblock, so I think it's time to go back over to the normal world. So, of course, we just did it. We have a beacon now. You already know what time it is. We're gonna actually put that beacon in a random chest, make another book, and go to another dimension. The beacon, the box of infinite books, it can wait. We have one final dimension to check out today. So, I don't know if you guys can remember, but a while ago I asked for an iron block dimension. I think we have the dimension. The dimension is gonna be the USSR dimension. That's pretty nice. So the text in here, USSR, and then the title is going to be this word right here, Zidon. Don't know what it means. Uh, hopefully it's good. Let's go ahead and light this portal, throw the book in, and we check it out. There should be iron blocks in here, and if uh, things are correct, ancient debris as well, and I guess a lot of target blocks too, and noise right off the bat. Uh, I think we're like trapped in this portal, maybe. Am I out of the portal yet? I, I don't... I don't think I am. Can this go? Okay, we're out. We're free. Nice. Lots of andesite and pink glass. It was a trap. Uh, wait. Hey. <laughs> Would you take a look at that? Uh, there's some nice blocks over here. That's pretty cool. That's pretty good. Look at the bones, too. Oh, a ravager. Oh, and a spider. And a spider. A ravager and a spider. Okay, this is great. This went to really nice. Relaxing, in fact, to intense. Right off the bat. Look at that. That's beautiful looking over there, though. We are, uh, having a problem, though. Big problem. A huge problem. Spider? No. No. No, this can't happen. This can't happen. This isn't happening right now. We need to get some distance on these mobs, and I need to eat. I need to heal. If anything touches me, we're done. Uh, we're going up this mountain. It's safe up here, hopefully. <laughs> uh, this is... Okay, there's a Ravager right there. This is not safe. This is not safe. We're going back this way. Spider? No, leave me alone. Well, we got it all. We got exactly what we were looking for. What did it cost? Uh, pretty much everything. Again, this is not good. We need to live here for five minutes somehow, too. And I left all my blocks at home. So, I think what we're going to do is we're just going to make a tunnel. This is my tunnel right here. A Ravager. I don't think it can make it in here, right? Um, it can't make it in here, right? <laughs> uh, no, it can. Okay, perfect, perfect. This is all that I needed. I think I can sit here like a true warrior and take the Ravager out. Exact. Okay, Ravager, come on, chill. Calm down, calm down. Okay, there's like three Ravagers over there. You know what? We're going mining. We're just going mining. Uh, we're just going to be in here. I'm not dealing with the Ravagers. Hold on. Actually... Oh, yeah, that's what I thought. That's what I thought, Ravagers. They don't have really any good drops. Anyways, oh, wait, back up, back up, back up, back up. Yep, how do you like that, Ravager? How do you like that? You like fire? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. That's exactly what I thought. I don't like it either. I don't like it either, but I didn't cause a fight, so, you know, sometimes... You, oh, hey, 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 be careful, be careful. Okay, okay, fine. We'll leave them alone. Fine, fine. I guess it makes sense. Oh, the cave spiders, though. They're tiny. They can fit anywhere, but the sword one hit <laughs> not bad not gonna lie that's pretty good so if we had a hoe we could go right through these target blocks really really quick but unfortunately i don't carry a hoe around i just it's not one of those things that usually i think i would need so we're gonna have to break through these things slowly uh, i'm not really worried about the magma cubes they do do a lot of damage when you get up close to them this sound is driving me crazy hold up hold up i think it's ambient environment 
Yes, it is. It's so much better. Anyways, the magma cubes, they do a lot of damage if they touch you, but uh, the big ones shouldn't really be able to get into this tunnel system. Uh, definitely not these tiny hallways right here. The goal is to hopefully tunnel back over to where the portal is. Where is the portal? Not sure exactly. I think it's somewhere like approximately this way. Hopefully we can make it out of this dimension. I really need a bow and arrow. The Ravagers are definitely it's best to probably keep them far away and just take them out that way i feel like that's gonna be a whole lot safer so i think i'm just gonna keep digging a tunnel this way until maybe hopefully i hit the portal or uh i i break the surface i don't know maybe i'll turn like a little bit too this is pretty crazy looking in here um it looks like some kind of crazy maze very cool though Oh boy, I hear one of them. I hear a Ravager. I'm just trying to see where I'm at. I've been digging for, I mean, it feels like it's been like forever and I, I like made no progress. So where are we now? Lots of pink glass. Okay, that, that's familiar looking. It's nice, it's cool looking. Uh, not exactly what I'm looking for though. I think we've gotta be close to the portal though, right? This looks pretty, uh, pretty familiar, pretty similar. We could actually use these glass panes and navigate through this thing without having any issues, but at this point, I just kind of want out. I, I just want to leave. I'm not enjoying this dimension. It's not fun. It, it's cool. It has good blocks, but... Yep, not exactly what I'm looking for. But before we leave, we're going to do one thing. We're going to make this Ravager proof. Ravagers, they're kind of large. Uh, okay, 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 okay. Yep, uh, yeah, that's what I was saying. Ravagers are large. They can't get in here. I don't know how I'm ever going to leave here. This is bad. Um, I'm just going to have to be really patient. Yeah, they're large. And I was going to make like a whole cage and they wouldn't be able to get me. And surprise, uh, they're right here. That's nice. That's great. We're not friends. We're not friends. You go away. Yeah, I don't know who told you that I wanted to hang out, but I don't. We're not We're not cool like that. It's not good. You guys can leave. Please. Thank you. Uh, are these all gonna burn? I don't know. I'm just gonna do it this way. Okay, Ravager, back up. Back up, buddy. So, if I want to leave this dimension and actually get my stuff back, we need to get rid of these Ravagers without being taken out by the Ravagers, because if they take us out... There's no way I'm getting back in here and getting this armor. There's just no way. It's going to be impossible. We'd have to make new armor. So I think I could just burn them. Burning them is probably going to be the safest bet. Uh, because if I even move like anywhere out there, they hit me somehow. Their reach is crazy. You see that? It's crazy. Ravager, goodbye. Goodbye, you're toast. Literally, you've been toasted. You, you're alone now, buddy. You're alone. You better watch it. We could be friends. I could ride you into the sunset. It would be great. But nope, you didn't want to do it that way. Thank you very much, Ravagers. We are going to continue building, making it nice and safe. It's good now, except from the air. If they come from the sky, we're going to have big problems. So we'll cover it up up here too. We could probably just do like bars like that. That's kind of good because then we can see through it and we can move around if we need to. Okay, okay, there's a Ravager there. We're leaving. We're just going to go home. We're just going to go home. I don't want to be there anymore. We're done. We're done. That's cool. That's good. And so, here we are. After the intensity of the last dimension, Waddles was afraid. He was traumatized. It, it wasn't a fun experience. Ravagers, they're not good. But our adventurer, he can't be stopped. Eventually, he'll make his way back over there and lay his revenge upon the Ravagers. For now, though, it's mining time. You see, after all that intensity, all that trauma, our guy was a little bit shaken up. All he wanted was a simple, fully stacked netherite beacon. Instead, what he got was a whole lot more dangerous. He was equipped for it, sure, but he didn't like it. So, he decided to mine. And mine. And mine. And so, after hours and hours worth of grinding in the nether, that's right, all in the nether, he actually achieved it. He did what people said could never be done. He did what people said was entirely impossible, unachievable, unrealistic. They didn't think it was possible, understandably. It's a hard thing to achieve, but he did it. Thanks to nothing short of sheer willpower, determination, and patience, a netherite beacon was actually achieved. And not only achieved, but exceeded. Yep, that's right. Three extra blocks of netherite. Perfect. I like it. But finally, the cap of the pyramid. Of course, the beacon. Let's go ahead. Go ahead. Activate. Do your thing. Mm-hmm. Exactly. Straight to a full beacon. And you already know, we, of course, need... I, I think we need jump boost here. Jump boost too, actually. All of that for some good, good moves. Take a look at this. First jump. That's a good jump. That is a good, strong jump. They love to see it. They love to see it. The carrots, they love it. 
And so that's where the journey ends today, elites. Thank you all so much for watching. If you enjoyed this episode, drop like, subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet, bell as well, and what would you like to see next? Until next time, it's me, your boy Waddles. I'll see you in the next episode. That is one beautiful, beautiful looking beacon. Nice.